I'm going to show you how you can redirect newly added domain devices into a specific OU rather than the default computers container. So to start, I'm going to open up my Active Directory users and computers. And then in my domain, I'm going to right click and then create a new organizational unit. For this example, I'm going to call it staging and then press OK. So I've got my new OU here. So by default in an Active Directory domain, when you add a new device, it gets added to this computer's container. But what we want to do is redirect it to our staging OU. Now the OU doesn't have to be in the root of the domain. You could redirect it to a child OU if you wanted. However, I just like redirecting it to a staging OU that is in the root of the domain. And then I can apply group policies directly to it without any existing policies getting applied to it. So now we've got our staging OU. We want to check that our advanced features is enabled. And then we can right click and then go to properties, attribute editor. And then under distinguished name, we can double click and then copy and then copy the value and then close the properties tab. And then if we open up a command prompt, we can run the following command, which is re dir cmp and then paste in the distinguished name of our organizational unit and then press enter. And then we can see that the redirection was successful. Now, any new devices that get added to the domain will go to the staging OU and not the default computer's container. So to test this, if I come over to a different device and then try and add it to the domain, what should happen is it goes to that staging OU. That's been added to the domain. So in Active Directory, if I refresh, we can see that the device is now in the staging OU and it hasn't gone to the default computer's container. Now the benefit of sending devices to a staging OU is that we can apply group policies directly to this OU without having to apply them to the root domain. And a policy I like applying to staging devices is blocking people from logging in until they have moved it to the correct Active Directory organizational unit. So if we open up our group policy management and then navigate to our staging OU, we can right click and then create a GPO in this domain and link it here. And I'll call this block staging logon. And then if we right click and edit, and then under computer configuration, policies, windows settings, security settings, local policies, and then user rights assignment. What we can do is we can deny logon locally and then define these policy settings, add user, and then browse, and then do users. This will block any domain users from being able to log on locally. And then we'll also deny log on through remote desktop services. So if we do the same thing again and add domain users, what that will do is block any user from logging in either locally or through remote desktop services. And then if we also come to the security options and then scroll down and then under interactive logon, we can create a logon message. So we can set a title and set the title to device not incorrect organizational unit. And then we can set the logon message and we can set the logon message to this device has not been moved out of the staging organizational unit. Please move the device to the correct Active Directory organizational unit before the logon is enabled. So if we apply those, we've now got our GPO, which if we come to the settings, we can see that it will deny logon and it will set an interactive message. So if we come back to our device, which has just been added to the domain, and then give this a reboot, we should see those policies be applied. So now the device has been rebooted, we can see we've got our logon message saying that the device is not in the correct organizational unit. And then this device has not been moved out of the staging organizational unit. Please move this device to the correct Active Directory organizational unit before logon is enabled. And then if they ignore that and press OK, and then they try and log in using a domain account, it will give them an error saying that the login has been blocked. And then, and then to fix that, what they have to do is come to Active Directory, take the device, and then put it in the correct organizational unit. So in this case, the server's OU. 
So it will no longer get these group policies applied. They're in the staging OU and it will get the relevant servers group policies. And then if they come back to the server or the workstation and then restart it, once it's restarted, they should no longer have the logon message. And then if they try and log in, it should let them log on fine because it is in the correct OU. So that's how you can redirect devices from the computer container into a staging organizational unit, as well as blocking logon to any devices in there.